Hi, my name is Dave Heller, and I'm a principal at Voluble Insights. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some techniques for integrating online media into your case strategy. I'll outline how online media fits into the overall foundation of your case, cues to identify when online media may represent compelling evidence, and some practical tips on how to go about collecting and analyzing this information. Although I may make suggestions throughout this video about how to think about different issues, it's important to remember that every case is different and not everything discussed in this video will be appropriate in all circumstances. To start, let's talk about the increasingly central role online media is playing in cases today. A good example of this phenomenon is the litigation surrounding Fox News' claims about Dominion voting systems and its alleged role in manipulating the results of the 2020 U.S. federal election between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Dominion sued Fox for defamation and the party settled for $787.5 million in April 2023. Here, Dominion's case strategy relied heavily on social media and other online evidence to advance critical arguments regarding the spread of the ad issue statements, how the statements were received by consumers, and whether they could ultimately be traced back to Fox's actions. Defamation cases are not the only place where this type of evidence can play a valuable role. Increasingly, online media represents critical evidence in deceptive advertising and intellectual property cases as well. For example, Monster Energy versus Vital Pharmaceuticals was a deceptive advertising case involving two energy drink brands. Monster took issue with Vital's advertising for its Bang brand, which appeared in Instagram posts and other places online. An analysis of consumer reaction to these advertisements on social media played an important role in Monster's eventual $293 million reward, including getting cited in the court's favorable ruling on a permanent injunction. Vital's Bang brand was also involved in IP litigation this time brought on by a different beverage manufacturer, Orange Bang. The plaintiff in this case also relied on social media evidence to demonstrate that consumers were likely to be confused by Bang's alleged trademark infringement. The case was a success for the plaintiff and ultimately resulted in Orange Bang receiving a $175 million judgment and the rights to claim 5% of royalties on future Bang sales. There are characteristics of online media that make it uniquely powerful evidence in litigation. To start, Online media offers a deep historical record of contemporaneous consumer reaction, behavior, opinion, or belief. Commonly, key issues in a case center on how consumers interpreted something that happened in the past, often many years ago. This is challenging to measure accurately in the present day for several reasons. Consumers may not be able to remember how they felt when they were initially exposed to the ad issue information, they may not remember their initial thoughts, and they may have received new information since the event in question that biases their present day interpretation. There is a wide variety of cases in which online media can represent compelling evidence. Most of these share some common characteristics. Typically, if consumer beliefs or actions are at issue in your case, it will be worthwhile to consider the role of online media. Even in situations involving niche communities or products, you can often find conversations or forums that are dedicated to the matter at hand. It's worth a look. Another clue to look for is cases where harm, or perhaps lack thereof, can be determined or at least influenced by the spread, dissemination, or consumer interpretation of information. The best clue of all is if you're planning on running a consumer survey, you should consider whether it could be bolstered by complementary evidence from online media. In another video on this series, we cover the complementary roles that surveys and online media play. If you do decide to pursue an analysis of online media, this evidence is usually best introduced through an expert witness who can both sponsor the analysis and provide the accompanying so what narrative that links the evidence to the broader story being told. Typically, this role would be played by a marketing expert who has related experience in social media. If this expert is already relying on a consumer survey in their analysis, it can be especially powerful to have them introduce complementary online media evidence as together they offer converging evidence. Another common use of this type of evidence is as an input to a damages or harm assessment. Online media can be an effective tool for quantifying the spread of information, the impact it had on consumers, and the number of views, which can be important inputs into a damages assessment. In some circumstances, if the online media analysis is focused and or stands on its own, it may make sense to introduce the evidence through a simple declaration. To summarize, if used properly, online media can represent an important source of evidence for parties in commercial litigation, especially in cases where consumer actions or beliefs are at issue. If you have a case where you think online media could be useful, please reach out to us. Our team would be happy to review the details of your case and provide an initial assessment of what type of analysis would be possible, free of charge.